Okay, I've arrived at the top of the pitch and I want to build my anchor. And I have this really nice solid rock and a, a relatively thin crack. Okay, parts of this, let's pretend that I'm not super confident about the rock quality. Maybe it's sandstone, uh, maybe it's a metamorphic rock that's breaking apart, or it could even be granite and there could be pockets of gas that have been exposed so there's hollow cavities. That's typical in places like Joshua Tree. So I've got these three cams in, but they're all pretty small. I have a 0.5 Camelot, a 0.4 gray slash silver Camelot, and a 0.3 blue Camelot in. So none of those pieces are bigger than 0.5. So anytime I'm dealing with an anchor that's 0.5 and smaller, if the rock quality is at all a question, then I always want to make a four piece anchor. So I'm going to look around and see if there's any spot I can add a cam. And it looks like I can add a nice fat 0.75 right at the top. Okay, so I'd be pretty, pretty psyched about that anchor. So we're going to start with the simplest way to build a four piece anchor first. So the simplest way is simply to take a look at your pieces of protection and see if you can equalize two of those pieces to each other. So if I look here, that would just about equalize there. So I can take the carabiner for one of those cams, stick it in the thumb loop, and stick it in the sling for the other cam, and now I've effectively equalized this point four and this point three cam to make its own small anchor and then I have these two other pieces of protection. And now I can take my cordelette. I'll oftentimes use a, a um, clove hitch to isolate this knot, clip that in, and then clip that into these three end carabiners. Pull down here, pull down here, grab these strands, and now I can lock this off with the knot of my choosing. So a lot of times, in this case, I might do a number of wraps to bring that up to get a higher master point. Okay, so that would be my first choice to build my four-piece anchor, okay? Okay, in this next example, I'm gonna build a four-piece anchor and my cams are a little bit more spread out. Here, I could probably still find a way to self-equalize. I'm gonna pretend that these are a little bit more spaced out from each other and equalizing one piece of protection to the next is more difficult. So whenever I can avoid this, adding other pieces to the system, I will. But there's a simple thing that you can do if it's really necessary, which is take a single length runner, open that runner up, okay? Use that carabiner for that upper nut there, okay? I'll clip this in. I'll choose the closest two pieces of protection just because I think it'll be easier for you to see up there. I'll use these upper two for now. Okay. Might clip this up here. And now I'm going to find out where the middle point of this runner will be. So right about there. Okay. And right at that middle point, I'm going to tie a simple overhand knot. Just like so. Okay. Put that back in. So now that's roughly equalized between those two pieces. Take the remaining non-locking carabiner from the sling and now I'm going to clip around each leg. The leg that's going to this green cam and the leg that's going to this nut. Okay. Yep. Like so. And I'm going to push this knot up and away from the rock so it's not going to rub. So now we've equalized those two pieces of protection to create a three point equalized anchor. And then just like before, I can clip my cordelette into each of those three pieces. And it looks just like equalizing a three piece anchor, which I've done many, many times before.